Shalom, shalom. First of all, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikah Kadash, and double on to those great millstones, all that is true. And also to the Ophi Lat, and Sky the Broad, I like to say, Shalom. And come back here today with another great and powerful lesson, the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title of the lesson is, It's Coming. So I like to say, Shalom, to all that listen and learn. Hope this will be today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So what is coming? What this what global reset? Uh, this what digital society? This what cashless society? You will not be able to buy or sell, you know, without being a part of this what new beast banking system. And also we know that once things go digital, it's gonna lead right into the what? The RFD microchip, which in fact is the what? The mark of the beast. And I about you will not be able to buy or sell and I without having being a part of this what? This system. And I about you know if they want what total control where they'll be able to what track and tag everyone on the planet. And also we knowing that what we're at the end of the dollar. Dollar's getting ready to be what obsolete. So I put out a video the other day whereby uh, uh talking about reverse eight ATMs whereby you know you take your money to uh this ATM machine and it'll give you a prepaid credit card back. So that about you know so they little by little you know they're using their devices to get rid of money. I already saying that is it's dirty, it's filthy, you know, it carry what, disease and different things like that. So, but one thing about it, you know, we seeing what, what's going on right before our eyes. So we, we telling you right now that, you know, things are getting ready to get critical, you know what I'm saying? So your way of life is getting ready to change. Your daily lives are getting ready to change. And everyone on the planet is getting ready to make a decision. And I about, so that Fed Now app is getting ready to go online, I think July the 1st. And I'd about so you know we seeing that everything is lining up so it will be what digital programmable also injectable and I'd about so we knowing that a lot of people gonna line up and take it you know what I'm saying because they're gonna force you any choco you know what I'm saying you will not be able to go to work will not be able to what to buy and sell once again will not be able to go into another or uh, what place you know a city you know what I'm saying without having that you know what I'm saying this digital download and also the what the see here so all these things are getting ready to come into play so you knowing that when things go digital it's going to work hand in hand once again with the MOTB the RFD microchip hey man things are coming uh, the, uh coming alive uh, left and right, you know, the Bible speaking loud and clear. And also, it was another uh, train derailment uh, in DeSoto, uh, Wisconsin. Uh, the train uh, fell into the Mississippi River and uh, said that it was carrying uh, lithium uh, batteries. So, hey, man, we see that he's constantly what? You know, uh, uh, moving very quickly. You know what I'm saying? Constantly uh, trying to form his what? His agenda, his what? His plan, his what? His devices. You know, what is that? The new world order, one world currency, one world religion. And also in one world government, not about he want what total control, he want what solar, uh, total what surveillance, and not about you know. So we knowing that this what this carbon credit uh, score is getting ready to come into play. You know face recognition, you know what I'm saying, biometrics. You know a lot of things are coming down the pipeline. You know wave your hand. You know what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying. You know scanning your palm. A lot of things are coming into play. So we seeing all these. Uh, 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 major stores are closing down. All these different layouts. So we knowing that the what the sown place is gonna become one unsown. Hey man, a lot of things are coming down the pipeline. We also also we know that uh, World War Three is constantly what escalating. We seeing that you know that the Ezekiel chapter thirty eight war is constantly coming to life left and right. And also we're getting very close to what the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Our what our salvation is very close that we yet believe. Hey man. We're here, even though we're being repetitive. But hey, man, these are the times that we're living in. And I'd about, hey, man, you have been well warned. And also, what? This truth has been declared. And I'd about, hey, man, we, hey, man, we are here. It is at the door. So uh, the title of the day lesson, once again, is It's Coming. So we get a quick precept before we start the video. Uh, Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 22. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth? The ruin of them both. And I advise, so hey man, we seeing that, hey man, great calamities are getting ready to befall it. And catastrophe, we seeing it that, you know, things are getting ready to happen all of a sudden. When they say peace and safety, then total destruction will come upon us. So we already know, once things go what? Digital, once again, all hell 
we'll break loose. So now, let's start the videos. And um, we're going to start the videos. And I hope that you will get edified. Coming, everyone. Get ready for a cashless society in the United States. That's right. The Federal Reserve is starting work on their Fed now digital currency. So say goodbye to the U.S. dollar as we currently know it. No one wants to be touching paper currency and dirty coins anymore. But the Federal Reserve digital currency is coming. Here's how the United States is slowly getting cash out of circulation. They're setting up what's called reverse ATMs. And supposedly, here's how it works. First, the consumer loads money into a kiosk, and within seconds, a receipt prints confirming the conversion, and a prepaid active card is issued. And this is just history repeating itself for those who don't know true history. This is from a 1935 newspaper after the gold clause was abrogated and they start to take gold out of circulation. Check out what it says. Cash at once for your old gold. Mind you, this was during the Great Depression. And today they have cash to card. And all this is just simply more power being given to ruling interests and less control for the people. And don't be surprised when they start saying that cash is too dirty to handle. Share this out and comment your thoughts below. Peace. Here's you know, my country was the first where they made cash illegal. 2016, digitalization was also in the country. 8 o'clock in the evening announced midnight, cash was illegal, the big notes. And 70% of the economy crashed. This digitalization is now going all over the world and there's a war on cash. They call it war on cash because cash is merely a medium of exchange. It has no value in itself. It's just a promise. You read the dollar note, it says, I promise to pay the bear. A, when it's digital, even a credit card, you know you're giving rents to the global financial system. But when it's cryptocurrency in the hands of algorithms, in the hands of big tech, they will do what is happening in China. Create social credit system to decide a new caste system. And you might have also followed that while all this has been happening, the founder of the World Economic Forum did a book called The Great Reset on how to deal with the COVID crisis. And one of, and all, everything we're seeing unfold is part of that Great Reset. But an element of that Great Reset is you will own nothing. Now, I'm a believer in the commons. And it would be so good if all land was a commons, if all seed was a commons, if food was a commons, if health was a commons, so that we had strong public health systems, strong community health system, deep knowledge about being healthy. But when Paul Schwab says, you will own nothing, he said, we'll own it all. That's why you have gates, not just owning the seed. What do you do own our food? What, of course, controls the health. And now owning land. This, if any, if ever there was a time for humanity to wake up, now is the time. World order really consists of three aspects. There is a new world political system that everyone today is calling the new world order. As well as that, there is a, an economic plan for the new world order. And that is called the new world economic order. Uh, in addition to those two items, there is a third plan for religion. You see, uh, the planners of the world know that men need a religion of some kind, even if it's a false one. So they have a plan to give us a new age, world, global, occultic religion. So really, there's, there's three aspects to this new world order. A new world economic order in which a computer chip will be injected into our hands or foreheads as a means to track, control, and identify us, and will also be used to... Uh, make our purchases and scan it. Well, they've, they've already put the program in in Los Angeles. In fact, uh, right. a trilateralist uh, named Mayor Bradley, Uncle Tom Bradley, was uh, responsible for putting this in dogs. Right. And your children will be uh, considered like animals, like animals. And yeah, operating through over. the Council on Foreign right. Relations, through the Trilateral right. Commission, through the Club of Rome, through Global 2000, which right. wants to reduce the population of the planet by... Uh, what is it? Uh, 25%. 25. Well, that's two, uh, 1 billion, 250 million people have to be exterminated by the year 2000. This is Zoe. Just like you, she uses lots of different cards and IDs to get through her day. What if all Zoe needed was herself? Introducing Amazon One, a free service that lets you use your palm to quickly pay for things, gain access, earn rewards, and more. Let's say you're grabbing your favorite coffee beverage or heading into the office or checking out. Just hover your palm and you're on your way. It's as easy as that. Sign up is free and takes less than a minute. All you need is a credit card, your phone number, and your palm. That's it. 
Since your palm is unique and can't be lost or misplaced, you can get things done quickly and securely. And with more experiences on the way, Amazon One will help you get even more done, simply by being you. Now, Zoe has more time to do what she loves, indoor skydiving. Enter, identify, and pay with Amazon One. An office in Sweden is taking wearable technology to the next level by implanting microchips into their staff. Yes, that's right. The newly opened Epicenter office complex in Stockholm is offering workers the chance to be chipped under the skin of their hands. The radio frequency identification chip, which is about the size of a grain of rice, allows users to open doors, swap contact details and use the photocopier. Uh, it felt pretty scary, but at the same time it feel, felt very modern, very 2015. The chipping is entirely voluntary, and according to manufacturers, it's completely safe. So some of the future areas of use, I think, like anything where you today would use a PIN code or, 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 a, or a key or a card. So payments is, I think, one area. Uh, I think also for healthcare reasons, that you can sort of uh, uh, communicate with your doctor and, and you can get data on what you eat and, and, and sort of what your uh, physical status. Uh, you have your own identification code and you're sending that to something else which you have to grant access to. So there's no one else that can sort of follow you on your ID, so to say. It's you who decide who gets access to that ID. Slide, because my 12 minutes is just up, have reacted to the truth coming out. They admit that they've been telling porkies, and now they propose to increase their power. So central bankers belatedly admit, oh, Oh, now that you've mentioned it, uh, yes, banks create the money supply. Um, so uh, let's abolish that now. <laughs> um, and also, by the way, let's abolish cash. So what should we do? Well, introduce digital cyber currency that central banks issue and control and thereby gain total control over all economic transactions, decisions, and the whole lot you've just heard from the CEO of the GDI. So, the greatest concentration of central banking power in history is really the bid they're aiming at. That's the central bank's goal. And, of course, digital accounts of um, dissenters and regime critics could be switched off. It would be very difficult to even purchase necessities. So, this is an Orwellian dystopia of total control, the end of any freedoms. That's um, really what central banks are aiming at. Several central banks have, like the Bank of England, already prepared their microchip implant, RFID chip, to be implanted under your skin. Um, and why is the sudden discussion about universal basic income from all the grassroots and inverted commas movements and billionaires? Oh, universal basic income is the bribe for you to accept the microchip. The overarching... So I hope you enjoyed the video. So we're seeing that, hey, it's coming. You know, so it's, it's right here. So, you know, just uh, what? Uh, we almost, uh, Monday will be what? May the, uh, what, first? So, baby, basically what? Read it about two months from now. So, we are very close. You know, so, hey, things are changing right before our eyes. So, let's start today's lesson. Let's go here to uh, Ezekiel. This is exactly what's going to happen when things go digital. Your money will be what? Obsolete. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 19, one of my uh, favorite uh uh, chapters Ezekiel chapter 7 and, and verse 19 and it reads say they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed their silver and and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord they shall not satisfy their soul neither fear their bowels because it is uh, the stumbling block of their iniquity so that's exactly what's getting ready to happen when when they uh go digital, you know what I'm saying? Cause we already knowing that you no, know, they already starting it now, you know, with this reverse ATM, you know, taking your money slowly but surely. You know what I'm saying? After a while, you know, they're gonna make an announcement that you won't be able to use cash nowhere. That's why they're trying to get everything what digital programmable, you know what I'm saying? Where they can what control it. You know what I'm saying? Also, it's getting ready to go what? Uh inside of you you know what i'm saying hey man hey, hey man we're here man we see it you know that they, they're rolling it out right before i it's coming so let's read that again uh ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 19 
I mean, shall I, Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 19. Uh, they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their soul, neither fear their bowels, because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity. So a lot of people are going to have a lot of what? Uh, stumbling blocks, you know. It's going to be, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, it, you know, a lot of people are going to try to what? To save their life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are going to what? Line up and take that what? Universal basic income. That's going to be the bribe. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people going to say, oh, I'm starving. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I got to get this for my children. I need my medication. You know what I'm saying? But you, you know, and out of if you, if you go down in Egypt, you will be totally destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Which in fact, you know, uh, Egypt represents the, what, the house of bunch. So we're in second Egypt right now, you know, in the land of our captivity, uh, captivity, Babylon the Great also is called what, America. Hey man. We're here. So, hey, man, so your money is getting ready to be what? Worthless. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, man, it constantly change. So this cashless society is going to bring forth what? Total control. So now let's go here to uh, Ecclesiastes, quick lesson through the spirit. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 3. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 3. <clears throat> and it reads, in, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and though and and those that look out the windows be darkened. And I about so we're coming upon that dark time, that perilous time. You know what I'm saying? So the what the grinding is ceasing, what the jobs. So we seeing a lot of jobs of what uh, uh laying off, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of jobs gonna be re replaced by what? Robotics. AI. So all these things are coming into play. What transhumanism? A lot of things are coming down the pipeline. We seeing it happening right before our eyes. You know, so so when things are go online, July the first. You know, so you are gonna have to make it a decision. You won't be able to what buy and sell. You won't even be able to work without being a part of this what system. So they get ready what to force you any choco. You know, and feed you things being idle. So we already knowing that what digital. Currency gonna work hand in hand with this what the RFD microchip. Hey man, hey man, the Bible is lining up just like clockwork. It's this what 5G blockchain system. The what the beast banking system. If you be a part of this system, you will be totally destroyed. And out of by hey man, you got to trust in the Lord. You got to have faith. So now let's start. That's that's go. Let's read that again. Ecclesiastes chapter twelve and verse three. Say so in 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 the day when the keeper of the house shall tremble. And the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders uh, cease because there are few, and 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 those that that look out of uh, the windows be darkened. Verse four, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up uh, at the voice of the birds, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. So hey man, you know hey, uh, you know what I'm saying? All the mirth gonna be. All the mirth, you know, the people that are drinking and married, having a good old time, going along with their day life, relaxing in their leaves, you know, thinking that they're a good case. But out of the body, hey, man, the grinding is getting ready to what? To cease. You know what I'm saying? So when you wake up in the morning, you hear the what? The the the, the bird uh, chirp. You know what I'm saying? Ain't going to be nothing going on. It's going to be what? Totally quiet out there. Ain't nothing going to be moving. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, no busting. You know, of the streets no more. You know, a lot of things are going, what? It's getting ready to see. We're coming upon that time. Our dark, perilous time. Jacob trouble. It is at the door. So now, let's go here one moment. Let's go here to Revelation. This is the point right here. This is where we at right here. No, let's go to 2 Thessalonians first. No. Yeah, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. We'll start up. Let's start up at verse, uh, verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, the prophet, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. When the Lord returned into what? The midst of the valley of Jehoshaphat. You know what I'm saying? In Ezekiel uh, chapter 38, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is going to show up, you know what I'm saying? For the controversy of Zion. And I bet that wicked has been revealed. And who is that wicked? so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, and I, by the Lord's getting ready to consume him, you know what I'm saying, we're consuming him with what, with this word, with this wisdom and it's not, and the Lord's getting ready, what, to come back and take him out of rulership, so we're in that, what, transfer of power, you know what I'm saying, 
transition to power. And I about, you know, there's a struggle in Rebecca's womb. It's getting ready to be real. And I about, we seeing it happening right before our eyes. We seeing that, you know what I'm saying, it's coming. You know what I'm saying? Say, so, hey, man, we are very close. So the prophets, you know what I'm saying, the famine of the words coming, you know. So, so the Lord's getting ready to close the mouthpiece up. So, you know, it's time to seek your true power while he can't be found. So now, uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 9 says, Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all powers and uh, signs and lying wonders. What AI, pseudo sign, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this what RFD microchip, you know what I'm saying? Tell you that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, just wave your hand, you know what I'm saying? Scan your palm, you know, you walk right through. It's very convenient, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's all we, we can make you uh make you a more stronger, you know what I'm saying? We can make you see again. We can make you walk again. These lying ones are getting ready to come into play. A lot of people are going to be seduced. A lot of people are going to will what? Submit and consent and will be what? Totally destroyed. Lord said, do not be partakers of it. And not about the one that will not be partakers of this system that what is coming is, is what is the, is the elect, the true believers of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah, we will not bend a foe. So now, so, so we already know, hey, hey man, everything it's coming so fastly, fast approach. And also the Lord is what accelerating time for the elect sake. You know what I'm saying? Those days shall be short. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, this red devil is getting ready to lose his mind. Uh second Thessalonians chapter two and verse 10 says, and and with all deceivingness and unrighteousness uh in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Verse 11. And for this cause, the Almighty shall send them strong delusion that they should believe uh, a lie. So a lot of people going to have a strong delusion because a lot of people going to buy into it when they bring forth this what universal basic income. Oh, we're going to give you this a month. You know what I'm saying? You don't even have to work. You know what I'm saying? It's very convenient. All we need you to do to do is come down here to one of these detention centers and, and you know and take the what digital download it's gonna work hand in hand you already know hey man so we're here it is at the door revelation chapter 13 is jumping off the pages uh let's read verse 12 it said said that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasures in unrighteousness so a lot of people you know hey they still a scoffing in mind a lot of people say oh man that that that's not the MOTB. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the world is not in it. Everything is going to be all right. You go ahead, right ahead on. And I'd buy, hey, man, we are at the end. Whether you believe it or not, hey, man, these Bible prophets are speaking loud and clear, man. Hey, man, we are rejoicing. We at the end of this thing. All we got to do is keep persevering. So now let's go here to uh, Revelation, the premier scripture. We go here. This is the main, this is the main script right here. This is exactly what is coming online. Read very quickly. It's already here. You know, hey man, hey, we're here. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 15. And it reads, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that system, that 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 the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And I by hey, 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 that's coming. You know what I'm saying? We already know what persecution of the saint you know what i'm saying revelation chapter 2 and 10 you know what i'm saying hey man it's coming you know a fast approach you know a lot of great death great mourning great sorrow it's a, it's a buffalo so you know we, we know that we're coming into this what this digital society this what cast is society you know what i'm saying we already knowing that hey you know they, they, they he causes all boats small and great rich and poor to what receive yeah hey man it is here, it's at the door. And I'd buy it. You already know what the beast is. You know what I'm saying? This what revived Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? Babylon the Great. We're here, man. Hey, man. Don't trust in the strength of Egypt. Hey, man, we're here, but a lot of people are gonna get faint or a lot of people are not gonna have the faith. You know what I'm saying? And they're gonna line up just like clockwork. You know what I'm saying? And take it. Uh Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. And he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, uh, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So, hey, man, we're here. You know, you already seen in, the, in that video, I think the uh, the second to the last video, there were about it was just, you know, it, like it was convenient, you know, putting it right into their right hand. You know what I'm saying? Waving their hand, unlocking doors, uh, uh, going into places, paying, just waving their hand. It's so very convenient. It's very harmless. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's good for you. And they're going to tell you all those different things. Those lying wonders. And I'd about hey man, we're here, man. Hey, the Bible's speaking loud and clear. And I'd about say, it shall be in your forehead. What? They said by July, what Elon Musk said that what? The neural link. 
will be, you know, that, that, that brain chip, which in fact called Neuralink, it will be online by July. So, hey, man, they moving fast. So the devil's getting ready to come down with great wrath. Because what? He knowing that his time is very short. We being very repetitive. We knowing that we sound like a broken record. But, hey, man, the Lord he commanded us, you know what I'm saying, told us to keep not silent. Warn them for me. That's what we're doing. Being a watchman for Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh you have been well warned. Hey, man, we're here. So let's read that again. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 says, And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand and in their forehead. What? The charisma. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it is here, man. Hey, man, we constantly want. You know, it's all these clips they'll be putting up. You know, it's, it's all over the internet. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey man, the Lord said, you know, everything is being revealed. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing it happening right before our Lord's doing a mighty work. Revelation chapter 13, we'll start back up at verse 17. And it reads, and and that no man might buy or uh, sell, save he, uh, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that about it, hey man, if you if you if this is the only way you're gonna be able to buy or sell, you know what I'm saying? If you'll be a part of this, you got to be a part of this system. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we knowing that we're not gonna be a part of this system. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be cut off from society. We're going to trust and believe in the Lord. And also the Lord said we shall be uh, like pilgrims among the earth. And I'd about hate. So a lot of people are uh, not going to have faith. A lot of people are going to what? Going to line up once again. They're going to trust in the strength of each. A lot of people love to eat. A lot of people love to have their uh, regular life. They think they're going to have a, a sense of normalcy. But it's nothing going back to saying. You know what I'm saying? This is it. You know what I'm saying? Affliction shall not rise up a second time. There will be no inhabitants left here. Babylon the Great, which in fact is a mark. This place will be totally destroyed. This is it. You know what I'm saying? Right before the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 18. And it reads, say, here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man. And his number is 600, three scores is six. Talking about this universal basic barcode, you know, every day, you know, all your food, all your products, everything that you buy and sell, it has that what barcode on the back of it. And I'd buy, you know, say, hey man, hey, and so so the system has already been into play. And I'd buy, you know, he's getting ready what to bring forth that what enterprise, this what new world order, whereby it will be what digital, programmable, and also injectable. Hey man, it, it what it is coming. So now let's go to our last and final script. Let's close out and uh. Ecclesiastes chapter, one moment, Ecclesiastes chapter um, 9, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 12. We close out here. And it reads, said, For man also knows not his time as the fishes that are taken in a even net, and as the birds uh, that are caught in the snare are a trap, so are the sons of men snared in a evil time, which in fact is now when it falleth suddenly upon them. And I about to get ready to fall suddenly upon you. So we already know they keep telling you left and right. Everything's getting ready to work cashly. It's getting ready to go what digital. You know what I'm saying? We're not being able to buy or sell. Getting ready to start these what? 15 minute cities. We're seeing all these what? Trained in rebel. We're seeing that what? World War III is constantly escalating. We're seeing what? The Ezekiel chapter 38 wars right upon us. You know what I'm saying? A time a trouble that we have never seen before. In the middle of the we constantly warn you, left and right, it is here. So the song places get ready to become unsung. You know what I'm saying? We know that we're at the end of the dollar. End of the dollar is the end of America. And out about it, hey, man, we're here. We're at the end. Our salvation is very close that we yet believe. Hey, man, we constantly warn you, left and right. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. Hey, man, these prophecies are constant road. We are very excited. And out about it, hey, man, so hey, it's time to what? Watch. Pray and be sober. You know what I'm saying? Keep your eyes on the pride, which in fact is what? The kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is it's coming. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.